what's happening guys so I'll tell you a story real brief I had a really good friend you know and this was about 1998 99 right and this was a guy that you know pretty much talked to every day if not every other day you know he was also my barber back when I had a hairline you know and it, it you know just think of the coolest guy you know the coolest guy you know and then all of a sudden you get a phone call and there's another friend telling you to turn on the news and you turn on the news and there's your friend right but they're not calling him by his name they're calling him by another name you knew him as David but they're calling him Vincent. And this Vincent was wanted out of Alabama for um, for killing his, his girlfriend at the time. He had caught her in a car with some dude. He took out a shotgun and he shot her. Just pow! You know, pow! And then he ran and he came to New Orleans. He assumed another identity and that's how we met him. You know, so this guy who we thought was David was actually a guy out of um, Alabama who was known as Vincent. And the police was looking for Vincent, you know, ever since it was 99 when I found out about this. And they had been looking for him since 91. So they had assumed a whole nother life. And, you know, he was wanted for murder. He was wanted for first degree murder. Um, first or second, you know, but he shot her point. He shot, he shot this young lady point blank with a shotgun, you know, and the reason why I mention this is because of the story about Richard Sherman. But in mind just said, you know, T that's not what's going on with that video, man. That's not, that's not related to any trauma that, um, you know, he doesn't call That's some sort of domestic thing he's stumbled upon. You know, basically like his girl cheating on him, his wife cheating on him, X, Y, Z. And I said, to be honest with you, bro, that within itself is an oxymoron statement. Because if it is his wife, you wouldn't catch your wife doing it. Not your wife. Right? You would catch somebody else, woman, doing it. Because if you've caught her in that act, she was never yours to start with. So he was like, yeah, you're right. I said, but still, bro, his reactions is just over the top. Like that shit there is just, I mean, this dude is worth millions. He's, he's worth millions. And, you know, a lot of these things are easy to say when you're not, when you're not in the heat of the moment of this shit. But when you get caught in the heat of the moment and you don't stumble on something and you're like, what the fuck? <laughs> you know, she really playing with me, you know? And yeah it's easy to say these things when you're not in the moment so i'm trying to tell i'm posting this to say to a lot of brothers um before you get in the moment right don't throw your life away for somebody who was never yours to start with because listen to me a bad man can't make a good girl turn bad she was already bad Okay, a good girl gonna stay a good girl. I don't give a fuck how bad to do it is. She's not gonna stop being who she is for him. He can't do it. It's just impossible. She's gonna just quit his ass, you know. But, you, you know, a lot of these women are listening to these rap songs and they think this shit is real and they could do it and it's celebrating this cheating kind of shit. You know, they've evolved into it. And I'm just telling this is for the brothers. Don't throw your life away on some bullshit. Okay, my friend Vincent, you know, who I knew as David, threw his whole life away. He's in, he's in prison right now in Alabama under the name Vincent Lampkin. One of the most genuine, giving, kindest men you ever wanted to know, you know. 
I get emotional thinking about him today because he was he was just that good. He was just that good of a person, bro. And in one moment, one tweak little moment of rage, of jealousy, and threw his whole life away. You don't own her. She's not your property. She's not your possession. And just like the, the you know, the old gate, the old pimp movie from the 70s, you know, your bitch chose him. She chose him. So why are you going to why are you going to spend the rest of your life in prison? And she chose him. She made an executive decision to be with him. So don't throw your life away. Because someone decided to make a an executive decision over their life. That's what she decided to do. But guess what? There are a million women out there right now praying for a decent dude. Okay? They're not even looking for Prince Charming anymore. They just want to have decent dude. And if she didn't think you were worth it, she didn't think you were good enough, right? They got others that will be more than happy to get you. So don't throw your life away for somebody who wasn't worth it from the beginning. Okay? So I just want to say that um, because I'm just starting to see a lot of domestic violence shit that's getting way out of hand. And somebody just needs to say to you, you don't own her. Okay, and if it was your woman, she wouldn't be out here doing that kind of shit. So don't throw your life away because you made a bad decision on a woman. Okay, re-examine your criteria, re-examine your your temper. Go sit down on, in somebody's chair and get your ass some mental help. And chill the fuck out, Richard Sherman, before you throw everything away behind, you know, somebody who was one rap song away from cheating on your ass anyway.